This is your first look at SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM. If you're already using SOLIDWORKS, you know how quick and easy it is to make changes to your designs, giving you more time to innovate, work on more projects, and deliver better quality products. By keeping track of thousands of SOLIDWORKS files, each having many revisions as well as reports, spreadsheets, and other documents, soon becomes impractical or even impossible. That's when you need SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM to safely manage all your data in a centralized, secure vault so only authorized users can view or make modifications. So first, we must check this part and its drawing out of the vault before we can make any changes. Both files are now locked, so nobody else can make changes to them until they're checked back in, avoiding any conflicts. So we've made a quick change using Instant 3D, but how do we know if this change affects any other projects? Well, SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM provides a helpful where used report, showing us that the part has only been used in this project, is present in two different configurations of the top level assembly, and it has a drawing. So we just need to make sure these files are updated to reflect the changes. So we'll go ahead, open the drawing, and let SOLIDWORKS do its magic and automatically update all the views and dimensions. So now we can check the drawing back into the vault, which makes a new version of all the changed files. This provides full traceability as well as a record of all the design decisions made along the way. But what if the previous version was a better design? No problem. SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM enables you to retrieve any version of any file. If this was an assembly, retrieving an older version would automatically retrieve the correct versions of all the assembled components. And if another user has made changes to the design you're working on, it gets flagged as out of date. So you can retrieve the latest version instantly and review any changes that might impact your design. We've already seen how fast it is to find parts using SOLIDWORKS Search. SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM, however, can easily manage thousands of documents from multiple sites around the world and data from customers and suppliers. All documents are fully indexed, and a technology called replication ensures search results are returned instantly. And it's much more than an HTML report. It's a full 3D preview using SOLIDWORKS eDrawings, so it's even possible to take measurements so we can be sure it will fit. The data card gives us even more information. So when we're sure it's the right part, we can simply drag and drop it into our design. Finally, we'll just edit the mirror feature to add the pin to both sides of the jaw assembly. OK, now let's update the assembly drawing and check it all back into the vault so everyone in the team will be able to see the changes we've made. Once we're happy with the changes, we need them to be signed off. This is an extremely easy process. Just follow the next step in the workflow defined for your project, and SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM will take care of notifying the right people. The warnings here indicate that some of these components have already been approved. Workflows can be defined for different projects and different document types, and are easy to set up by simply laying out your design processes graphically on screen and assigning permissions for different users. For example, you don't want users to be able to make changes to approved files. So far, we've looked at how a designer would use SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM. Let's swap hats now and log in as the manager, who is not a SOLIDWORKS user. One of the reasons why SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM is so easy to use is that it's fully integrated into Windows Explorer. Simply navigate to the folder for your department or project, enter your password, and the Explorer pane is split into two, giving you a regular file listing at the top and a series of tabs at the bottom. The first tab is a fully detailed preview of the file, whatever type of file it may be. The second tab is a data card that can be easily customized for each project or each file type, and that gives detailed information about the file. The Bill of Materials tab gives a detailed snapshot of an assembly at each revision, and can also be configured for different users, such as purchasing and manufacturing. And the Where Used report. Well, we've seen how useful that is already. All the information you need is directly at your fingertips. Because it's integrated into Windows Explorer, SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM can manage data from anywhere. For example, the manager is working on this document. He wishes to save it into the vault. So he simply navigates to the correct folder, adds some information, and saves the document. That's it. It's now controlled. Let's go to the vault and check the document in to fill out all the information in the data card. SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM can also be configured to automatically generate serial numbers, 
and the preview is invaluable. So we don't even need to open the document to read it. The manager gets a notification from the workflow that a number of documents need to be approved. They can be opened or viewed directly from the hyperlinks in the message, or if there are a lot of documents to approve, he may wish to use a previously saved search favorite to find all the drawings awaiting approval. Of course, they can be viewed here and also approved here, completing the design cycle for this project. Notifications will be sent to manufacturing, and drawings can be issued automatically in any popular format, such as eDrawings, PDF, or DWG. SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM effectively manages and revision controls all your documents in a secure environment, ensuring you have the right data at the right time, all in a familiar, easy-to-use interface. This has been your first look at SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM. To learn more, contact your local SOLIDWORKS reseller or explore our website for more information.